Kia. Primary election season is coming up pretty fast. Today was the last day to register to vote for the primaries. 25 News reporter Jarrell Baker tells us what you need to know tonight. The end of January also marks the end of voter registration as people look forward to the primary election in a month. Not as big as like, say, in the November for 2020 election. Uh, but we've had a decent turnout. We've had a lot of people call to check on their registration status. McLennan County Elections Administrator Jared Goldsmith says they usually see around 30,000 to 40,000 people vote during the primaries. While the primary election is important, political expert Dr. Patrick Flavin with Baylor University says it's not the most popular. These elections tend to be much lower than in general elections, so usually around 10 percent, whereas, for example, in the 2020 presidential election, the general election, it was up around 60% in Texas. Dr. Flavin says primaries decide which candidate will represent parties for the general election in November. And in several cases, it could determine the final result for the Senate, House, and statewide elections. If they lean towards one party, so it's a particularly Republican leaning district or particularly Democratic leaning district, the result is really decided in the, in the primary election. This will be the first election to which Texans will be voting in new political districts. State Representative 56 still is in McLennan County. Uh, used to have State Rep 12 as well. However, State Rep 12 is no longer in McLennan County. State Rep 13 will be the new uh, State Rep. Districts in Bell County will remain the same, but they'll add some new voting precincts. Experts say it's important to do some research on your candidates, districts, and precinct before you cast your ballots. In McLennan County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. Now in Texas, independents can vote in the primary, but can only do so for one party. Early voting starts February 14th. Governor Abbott has gained five points since November over probable Democratic nominee for Governor Beto O'Rourke. New University of Texas Tyler poll shows Abbott with an 11-point lead. In the poll, he got 47% of votes, while O'Rourke had 36%.